Hey there everyone, it is currently the 20th of August 2016, and I, I don't really use this term when describing weather, but the tropics right now, especially just towards the south of Japan, is a hot mess. Right now we have several named storm systems out here. Of course we have our one off here towards the west now moving over Laos heading into northern Thailand and Bangladesh. That's definitely going to continue to bring some problems but if we look back towards the east how about this a tropical system Lion Rock. Love that name by the way just towards the southwest of Tokyo. Another low swirling towards the east. We have another storm down here towards the south. How about this one over here there. Overall this is actually rotating around a low level center high pressure center i should say right here kind of in orbit and it's what we call a monsoonal gyre well this is one of the most extreme cases i have seen of this but it does look like this one right here towards the south of tokyo right now line rock still love that name uh that one's gonna kind of escape the energy out of this gyre because they all feed off of each other instead of becoming one big storm system System. And this one has the highest chance of really gaining some strength. Meanwhile, though, our other storm down towards the south could come up and impact Tokyo. So much happening. And for example, here is a look at the tracks from the Japan Meteorological Agency. First, we have Lion Rock heading down towards the southwest. This one right now, 35 gusting to 50 knot winds. But let's go ahead and just pull. I'm going to actually just keep this screen running, by the way, just so you can kind of see what I'm going through here. We have Mindule. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Moving up towards the north. This is going to be crossing over the Ogasara and Izu Islands and eventually could come on shore right around the Tokyo area, which is going to be a big rainmaker. And then another tropical depression that JMA is warning on. Oh, excuse me, that's Lion Rock. Uh, that is just, oh, that's the other one. All right, TD. B. <laughs> All right, there we got it. Uh, that is just towards the east of Tokyo, heading off towards the northwest. One thing uh, Lion Rock is doing today, though, it is surging in some moisture around it. So if you are in Tokyo, you're probably thinking, are we getting hit by a typhoon right now? The weather has been rather putrid all day. Been looking at some heavy showers throughout the day, uh, some rumbles of thunder as well. The big thing for this is because you have your TD back towards the east. You have the moisture coming in off of this storm. And overall, we just have that easterly flow of rainfall coming on shore across Chiba and over towards the Tokyo area. And that is why we're looking at widespread showers. So yes, you're kind of being impacted by these storms, but no, not directly. The low level centers down here towards the south, but that moisture is creating some vast amount of instability. Plus cold air aloft coming in from a passing trough off here towards the north is making for, well, unstable weather, allowing for convection and those rumbles of thunder. So a very complex weather system but uh, in the end it really is a quite a hot mess and this is going to continue through Sunday morning even by Saturday or excuse me Sunday afternoon and the Monday we're going to be looking at more showers with our next storm system coming in from the south and by Monday into Tuesday moving right over to Tokyo making landfall bringing that threat of some gale force winds. I don't think at this time uh, we're going to be seeing typhoon strength, but tropical storm, the severe tropical storm, very well possible. And enough to toss anything light around and definitely cause a threat of flooding because of that continued precipitation we're going to be seeing from these two and then Manule coming in from the south. But if we take a look at the long range, I do want to continue to watch Lion Rock pushing towards the Amami Islands and Okinawa. It could linger down here, still affecting from the Fujiwara effect with these other two storm systems and might meander back towards the west but such a complicated mess right now that uh the models are all over the place you there's not two models that are exactly the same if you want to play that game i'll show you the ecmwf so you show me the gfs somebody else shows us the nav gem and say oh well i like this one or this one probably is right um to be honest i don't think any of them are right they all have an idea but they are all over the place when we're talking about this type of setup it's very complex and definitely uh, unique so yeah for now we're going to continue to watch this and i think that's the big thing you you really just want to watch these storm systems over the next several days and see what happens what i do know i think line rock will continue to head towards the southwest mandule is going to come from the south definitely bring some scattered showers across the tokyo area but in the extended range what line rock will do with okinawa mommy and eventually shift back towards the northeast that is really up in the air but hey guys 
that's the tropics in the Western Pacific. And that's what makes it fun forecasting stuff like this. So we're going to continue to watch and monitor it and uh, see what happens over the coming days. All right. A lot of talking. I don't think I told you guys too much. <laughs> it was a lot of uh, a lot of nonsense. And that's what's pretty much going on right now. Stay safe.